Hey guys, this is Brett, your independent Sensei Consultant. I'm here with what we've been warming slash empties video from Sensi for the last few weeks. I think it's been a couple weeks since I did our last one. And so this is really good because usually I get way behind at doing these. And it's like a month and a half-ish before I get to do the next one. So it's only been a couple weeks. So this is doing pretty good, but I have a lot here. So I'm trying to just go, not necessarily do one every two weeks or every month, just whenever I get quite a bit here and I got time to do the video, I will do the video. So I had time, the basket's pretty full. I'm gonna do a video here. So I'm gonna start out with the non-wax stuff here. So first up, we have some hand soaps. Brad can't do it with me because he is actually working. He's downstairs doing hair, so he's not able to do this. So I, I had some time, so I wanted to do it real quick here. I just filmed another video, so I figured while well, I have my stuff all set up, I'm just gonna do the empties. Okay, so we have hand soap. We have Vanilla Waves in the hand soap here. This one, I was kind of disappointed in this one. It's okay, but it was really light. I really like the bar, but the hand soap was just, it wasn't very strong. You smelled it a little bit on your hands, but it could have been a lot stronger, I feel like. I just got a, like a light scent on my hands, but I wanted more from this hand soap. So yeah, I had two of those we went through because I really thought it was going to be really good. Mm. Yeah, the scent was good, it just wasn't very strong. Like, I just barely smelled on my hands for a little bit right when I washed my hands, but then it, did, it didn't last or anything on your hands. So I wouldn't repurchase that scent in the hand soap, but I do like the bar. Okay, now we have some scent circles. These are the 3D scent circles from the Harvest Collection. First up we have, this is Cozy, uh, Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin from the Harvest Collection. This was in the shape of a pumpkin. I had this in my car and this was so good. So good. I had it going at the same time. Well, I had the pods going in my Sensi Go in the Cozy Vanilla Pumpkin and then those had died down a little bit and then I put this in the car. So this, you know, just kind of gave a little more life. So good. I love this scent so much. It's just a good, very, you get the vanilla and the pumpkin and there's a little touch of like a cinnamon, like a little bit of a spice in there. Like I said before, it reminds me of Bath and Body Works. Uh, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow because it's very very vanilla y and pumpkin and then just a little bit of spice it's not super super spicy but there is spice in there but definitely has the vanilla with the pumpkin definitely vanilla but it's really good I really like it yeah and this did really good this lasted I mean, it wasn't super super long I think it lasted like a week ish or so so it did pretty good because um, some of them only last like a day or two so a week ish is not too bad I prefer it's really good when you get some that last like two to three weeks or more. But, you know, a week is just not too bad for a scent circle, I don't think. And then we also have maple rum cake in the Harvest Collection. And this is shaped like a cupcake. And maple rum cake. Uh, this one was so good, too. So I have, let me see. I have the, I have the bar here, too. Let me look at the notes on the back. Because I writ wrote the notes on the back of the bar on the inside. It's buttered rum, cinnamon sugar, vanilla frosting, and maple drizzle. So this was so good. This, The scent circle, I also had the pods in as well when I had the scent circle in. I still have the pods in my car and they're still lingering on, on the pods. But for some reason there's something in the pods I don't really like. I like the wax, but the pods, I don't know what it is. Something about it I haven't finished them, so I didn't include them in here. So I'll wait till I finish those. To, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just talk about it right now. They're still lingering. I have it right here. I'll go ahead and talk about the pods and the scent circles. So I had this still lingering and this. Like I said, this really, I like this. I did. For some reason, the pods, if you watch Lisa Roberry's video when she first smelled this in her haul, she said it smelled like stale cake and was it cigars or something like that. I, uh, this, the pods for some reason had that kind of a stale smell. I'm like, I, I, I'm getting what she said in this pod. But, no, I didn't get that in the wax, but I got in the pod. It smelled like, it smelled, it wasn't terrible, but it was something slightly stale a little bit at times, but not like all the time. I don't know, I didn't love it. I didn't love it in the pods. I'm actually ready for it to be done, but of course it's lingering on because I don't, <laughs> because I don't love it, of course. But if I would have loved it, it would have been totally, gone by now the scent would have been gone but it's lingering on in the pods 
but uh but the scent circle when i put that scent circle in there this 3d scent circle it was so good this didn't have that staleness at all it had like a really good bakery uh the bakery the little bit of, it wasn't super maple just a little bit of maple and what else the vanilla frosting cinnamon sugar yeah slightly a little bit of buttered rum really good bakery scent so good um uh, i wish the pods of smell like the scent circle i don't know what it was different it just didn't it didn't have that little bit of a stale type of thing that i was smelling in the pods so I wish the positive smell like this, but this was good, really good. This lasted for like about a week, about as long as the cozy vanilla pumpkin one did. So yeah, that was good. And I would repurchase uh, both those again. I think the maple rum cake lasted a little bit longer than the cozy vanilla pumpkin one did. But yeah, those were good. Okay, so now we will talk about my pods. I have six pods. That was the first one. I already talked about the maple rum cake. It's still going in my car, so it's been like, gosh, a couple, couple weeks, maybe a little, yeah, a couple weeks, two weeks-ish, maybe. Uh, then we have Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin right here, and I already talked about that. Yeah, this is so good. Just, just you know, like I said, vanilla and pumpkin, very vanilla. And then just that slight bit of spice, but it's so good. It was so good in these pods, too, because when I first put these pods in my car, oh my gosh, it was so strong and amazing. It was just like filling my car up so well and it it was the only thing with this is on the pods it was really good for like three days like amazing like i got my car smelled it so good and then like about the fourth day it just like brown it dropped like way down i could smell it but it was like a light linger but like it was so strong those first three days and i'm like god why couldn't it have been strong like that for at least a week or so but i would almost get this again just to have those first three days of pure bliss because it was so good but then like i said after that it did kind of taper down to a light linger but i'm like oh come on i want i want more give it to me like you were giving it to me the first three days but those first three days was pure perfection on this i loved it loved it all right then we have the third from the harvest trio we have wild for fall these actually in brad's car and they're doing really good it's been, gosh, a couple weeks or so in his car, too. It's Douglas Fir, Satsuma, Satsuma Mandarin, and Golden Sunflower. So I also have the bar in this, so I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i go ahead and talk about both these as well. So, yeah, this is just, it is kind of Christmas-like. A lot of people think this is like a Christmas scent instead of a fall scent. I get what they're saying. You definitely do get that Douglas Fir in there, but I feel like that Satsuma Mandarin something about it gives me kind of a, a slight bit of a fallish feel kind of it's not like full-on fall or anything but it gives it gives me a little different feel than like just straight on winter or christmas but i feel like this could be you could totally get away with you know warming this and having this in the winter and christmas time but yet you, you can still it's perfectly fine for the fall too because it's not just 100 percent Christmas tree. It's got that mandarin and stuff in there that kind of plays well in the fall too, I think. So yeah, I think it's a good fall or winter scent for me. Really good. The uh, paws are doing really good. Brad has actually, he doesn't have a sense to go. He has, I had the mini fan diffuser in my car and he did too. So when I got my sense to go, I gave him my mini fan diffuser. I had it here in the by the computer for a while and then I put it in his car. And it's doing really good with two mini fan diffusers in his car. So he has this in there and it's still going strong. Really, really good. And then it did really good in the wax too. It was filling up our whole open concept here. Like I was out in the garage one day. I was talking about this in the, our vlog. I was outside. We would gotten some new mum. So I was out there by the end of the garage. We had the garage door open. I was right outside the garage messing with those mums. And then Brad had opened, the garage door was open, and Brad opened the inside door here, and when he did, I, it just, that smell just wafted out clear to the end of the garage where I was standing outside of the garage. It was so good, so, so good. And very strong, really good performer. I definitely recommend that one. And then, um, let's see, I didn't talk about the maple rum cake in the bar. I talked about the uh, pod and the scent circle. I had all three of those going in that one. Um, and then I did also have all the cozy vanilla the cozy vanilla and pumpkin too. I had that in the bar somewhere in here. Yes, I know I do. It's somewhere in here. Where is it at? They're right there. Let me go back to the cozy vanilla and pumpkin in the bar. 
So that was good too. The Cozy and Villain Pumpkin, sorry, I'm jumping all around here. I figured I'd just do it all at once here. Because I had all three, except for the Wild for Fall, I didn't do the Scent Circle yet. The 3D Scent Circle, we still have that we haven't used yet. Brad was going to put that in his car, but those pods are doing so good, he hasn't needed that yet. So anyway, the Cozy Villain Pumpkin in the Wax, it was amazing too, but I would say this was the lightest out of the three. The pods are super strong in those first three days. This was really good for almost a week. This was really good too. Sorry, the sun is going in and out of the clouds there. Uh, it was good, but it was pretty light. I did have it in my open concept though. So that could have been why maybe if I would have tried it in a bedroom, it would have been a little bit stronger. But, but for my own open concept, this was like a medium, but I wish it would have been a little bit stronger. And then it didn't last a whole long time. It, just, it was kind of a medium and then kind of got to like a light scent for like maybe the second to third day. So yeah, this was, I really liked this scent. I just wish it would have been a little bit stronger in the open concept anyway. I would like to try this again, get another bar and get it and put it in the bedroom and see how it does. And then the maple rum cake in the bar. This one, it was good. It did really well. Uh, I'd probably say it wasn't, it didn't have that kind of stale note that I talked about in the pods. It didn't have that, but it wasn't quite as good as that scent circle was. I don't know what it was in this scent circle, but it was amazing in the maple rum cake. But this was good too in the bar. Yeah, it, it, this scent circle just had a, oops, had a little bit more of a bakery note to it for some reason. But this was good too. It had bakery as well. Yeah, that bakery, uh, frosting, a little bit of maple, cinnamon sugar, slightly little bit of rum, but not too boozy. Really good. And this one, this one was like a good medium, strong medium, and lasted for, I think, two days. It kind of lingered into the second day on this one. So yeah, that was maple rum cake. So overall, I, I pretty, I enjoyed all the three of the Harvest Trios, except for that, that some about the, the pods and the maple rum cake, I didn't really love. Okay, now we'll finish up the pods. I got three more pods. Lavender cotton. This is good. This is just purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. Yeah, it's just like very fresh, lavendery cotton. It's like lavender and like laundry. These are really good. We use these in our, I love this scent in our air purifier in the bedroom. It does really good. And that air purifier makes the room, bedroom smell nice and fresh. We got jammy time. Love this scent. This is Freesia Lavender Sweet Pea. Ah, such a good, it's got a little bit of a peppery note to me too. Really good. And we had this going in the bedroom as well in our air purifier. I love this in the air purifier in the bedroom as well. Hmm, so good, love that scent. And then lastly, we have Luna. And Luna is, I, I always write him down here on the back so I, have easy access to the notes. Jasmine, sweet pea, freesia, berries, and sandalwood. This is like good, it's like florals, berries, sandalwood. There's all kinds of goodness in this. It's really good. We have these two going downstairs in the bathroom down by Brad's salon in the uh, wall fan diffuser in there. And then we had it in the bathroom and then we moved it. Then we ended up putting a warmer in the bathroom. So then we put it down in the hallway there by the door downstairs. This is really good. Like it just kept going and kept going and kept going. One thing about Luna is it just goes and goes and goes. It's not the strongest scent by any means. It's, it's kind of a light to medium scent. You can definitely smell it though, but it's not like a strong scent, but it just lingers. It just goes and goes for like ever. It seems like in the wax and this thing just kept going. I'm like, I kept going down there. I'm like, it's still going, it's still going, it's still going. So this is such a good performer. Like I said, it's not super strong, but you can smell it and it just, and it goes and goes and goes all right now we go on to the wax i have like 25 bars here so i'm gonna go ahead and jump in here okay first up we have lemon coconut chiffon from bringing back my bar from this past june this is so good so good uh lemon custard oh gosh it's smeared uh buttered gosh butter cake i think and toasted coconut Oh yeah, this is so good. It's all that. You just get lemony bakery toast with a little bit of toasted coconut in there, but that cakey and lemony bakery. So good, so good. I love this. I still, I have this in my club, but I also have a um, uh, lemon drizzle cake from the Easter collection. I, oh, 
I don't know which one. I need to melt that again, because I know I love this one. I really need to melt, I have, I need to melt that again, because I have some lemon drizzle cake and see, because I'm gonna take one of them out. But I'm pretty sure I think I'm gonna keep this one in, because I think this is a little bit better than that one was. But I like them both. All right, cashmere and corduroy we have here. Creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, cashmere sandalwood. This is so good. Had this going in the bedroom. This is a really good bedroom set. Yeah, he's got that cashmere kind of like relaxing, uh, a little bit of vanilla. Sicilian bergamot, it's not like a cologne bergamot to me. It could be a little more, if this is, if anything, it's like a perfumey ber bergamot rather than a cologne bergamot. Oh yeah, this is so good. Really, really good. Had this going in the bedroom and it, it lingered for probably three to four days or so. Yeah, it did really well. We have Scary Good, Pumpkin Puree, Cinnamon, Butterscotch, and Creamy Vanilla. This is amazing. I love Scary Good. So good. It's a really spicy like pumpkin. But you get that little bit of butterscotch in there. Not super butterscotchy. It's not like uh, Gimme Candy it has that kind of a butterscotch. It's not quite like that. But there's a little bit in there. But you definitely get that pumpkin, that spiciness of that uh, cinnamon. It's not, it says creamy vanilla, but it's not too creamy. But it's really, that pumpkin scent is so good in there with the spices. It kind of reminds me of uh, heirloom pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. Heirloom pumpkin and it's called different things. It's called something else as well. But yeah, it's scary good, so good. Definitely would get that one again. And then I would get cashmere corduroy again. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but it'd fine in the bedroom. Uh, I didn't try it on the out. I didn't try in the open concept. And of course, lemon coconut chiffon I would get again. And it's in my club. Sugar cookie. This is so good. Basically, I mean, just what it says. Sugar cookie. It's butter, sugar, creamy vanilla. It's like a buttery sugar cookie. And this does really good. I had this. I think I finished. This was a bar I finished. And I did two cubes in the half bath in here. Did really good. And I have a brick of that too. That I got in my last club order that I got. Next up we have Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. That's the scent of the month for this month, October. Warm Clothes Cozy Pumpkin Sweet Maple Drizzle. So this was good, this is nice. It's, I mean, you get definitely get the pumpkin. Um, I, it says Maple Drizzle. It's, it's, again, it's not like the warm, or maple rum cake. It's not super maple-y. I get a little bit of maple. It's not like, like pancake maple or anything like that. There's a touch of a maple in there though. But uh, ugh, I itch. But then that pumpkin and the clothes. There's a. It's not straight just pumpkin and clothes. Maybe it's that maple that's making it a little bit sweeter. It kind of makes the clove and the pumpkin a little sweeter. Maybe that's what the maple's doing because it's not like a super astringent clove and pumpkin. It's a, a, a touch of it like a sweetness, make, probably from that pumpkin or that maple syrup. Sorry. Yeah, this is nice. I did like it. So that is October, scent of the month, and this 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 lasts like to a day to day and a half on this one. Then we have Cider Mill, Fresh Apples, Crushed Pumpkin, Simmering Spices, and oh my god, this is amazing. I love it. God, oh, this is so good. This is very similar to Pumpkin Apple from Bath and Body Works, Apple Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. If you like those, you'll love this. It's very much like that. It's apples and pumpkins and spices. Totally fall, 100%. And I would 100% recommend it and 100% get it again. I just love that. And that did really good. It lingered and lingered for days. I had it, it lasted in the open concept for probably a couple of days or so, but I had a couple cubes in the hallway bath here and it just kept going and going and going. I think a week or so maybe? I, mean, I didn't take it out because I'm like, it's still going well in here. I changed the wax out here that I had of this in the open concept because it only lasted a couple days or so. I think a couple days. But that in the bathroom was just going and going, so I just left it in there. So it was really good. Love that. Black raspberry vanilla. Dark berries and vanilla. That's pretty much what it is, just berries and vanilla. Does good. I think I had this downstairs in the soon-to-be sensory room. 
Yeah, it, it does really good. And it lingers for quite a few days on that one as well. Next up, we have Korean Apple Crumble from, this is new in the fall winter catalog this year. This is good. It's nice bakery scent. A little bit of cranberry, a little bit of crumble, the bakeriness. Yeah, it's it's good. It's a medium scent, not super strong, medium scent. It lasts about a day or so. It's not super long lasting either, but it's really nice. I really like it. Crumble, crumble. Clean breeze. This is white florals, touch of spring, fresh clean laundry. Did I read crane apple crumbles? No, I can't remember if I did. Baked crane apple, brown sugar, and whipped cream. I don't think I read that. Yeah, it, it is like a baked crane apple. You get the bakeness in there with a little bit of whipped cream and then that brown sugar is in there too. Yeah, I like that one. So anyway, clean breeze. Yeah, white florals, touch of spring, fresh clean laundry. It's definitely laundry scent, fresh laundry, but like with a little bit of white florals with it. Yeah, very clean. I have this going downstairs in the bathroom downstairs by Brad's salon and it did really good. And it was lasting for quite a few days on that one. Two or three, or probably three or four days, I think, on that. Maybe, actually, I think that, I think this lingered in our 20 watt warmer for longer than that. I feel like the 20 watt warmers, we have it in the ocean ombre warmer. We had it in the ocean um, ocean ombre warmer down in our bath uh, bathroom, like I told you about the salon. Uh, it's a 20 watt warmer. I feel like the 20 watt warmers aren't as strong, like initially when you put it in there, but because they're not as strong, I, they linger and last a little bit longer. And that's that was the case with this one. I feel like the 25 watt 25 watt ones are a little bit stronger initially, but then they don't linger quite as long. 20 watts aren't as strong right out the gate, but then they just kind of linger a little bit longer because it's not getting as hot, so it's lasting a little bit longer. So yeah, that did, that lasted for a week or so on that one. Then we have Cutie Pie Cupcake. This was also Bring Back My Bar from June. And this is really good too. Oh, it's so good. Sweet Clementine Yellow Cake Batter Vanilla Sugary Icing. Yes, just all that bakery cake, sugar icing, yellow cake with a little bit of clementine, just a little bit of that orange clementine type of scent. It's also similar to, oh gosh, Cutie Pie Cupcake and, um, oh gosh, my mind's completely blank. What is the other one that's like? Cutie Pie and then, uh, oh my gosh, I cannot think of it. My mind's completely blank on the other one. Uh, Cutie Pie Cupcake, oh gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. You know what it is. Comment below. <laughs> you know what the other one is. It's like, it's it's very much like that other one, but I can't not think of it. Yeah, it's really good. And this was really strong. Really good performer. Really good. I recommend it. It's in my club. Love it. Clementine Cupcake. That's it. <laughs> I told you it was on the tip of my tongue. Clementine Cupcake. It's very similar to that. Next up, we have Huckleberry Hideaway. That was also new in the... Fall and winter catalog. And the notes are all smeared. <laughs> I can't even read them. Okay, so I looked up the notes. Since they were all smeared, it's fresh picked huckleberry, mountain violet, and crisp white woods create the perfect re retreat. So I really like this one. I finished this off. I had, I think, four, two or four cubes, and I finished them in our kitchen here. I actually liked it, it was really good. I think I liked it more than the first time I had, I had melted it. So I definitely get the huckleberry, but you get that violet in there, a little bit of a floralness in there. Just a little bit of the white woods. It's not super woodsy, just a little touch of that, but it's mostly like the huckleberry and like the uh, floral, mountain violet. But it was nice, I really liked it. I was in the kitchen, I kept smelling it. It's a little bit soapy though. I will say that, because I was right there, it was in my warmers, you know, I was in there in the kitchen, I kept smelling it. But it's a little tad soapy, but I liked it though. It was good. Um, and it lasted quite a while too, because it was like a week or so and just kept going. So yeah, I had quite a few here that just kept going. So that's good. Uh, next up, let's see here. I talked about this. I think this was left over from my last. I think this got left over in there. I, I know I talked about this in my last video, but I'll talk about it again real quick, I guess. Mandalorian Era of, Era of Adventure. 
I don't know if maybe I didn't finish that or something. Oh, that's right, because I hadn't finished it and I finished it. I had like two cubes left. It was silver, mint, bergamot, geranium, eucalyptus, and orange zest. Yeah, I got all that. Such a good scent. But it's it's so light. I said in my other one I had it in my open concept, so it was really light and like I barely got anything from it, which I was really surprised because a lot of people really like this, so I had I had high expectations to really like this because everybody was a lot of people really like it and rave about it. And I loved it on cold, but like in the open concept it it, it was so light, so I thought, okay, maybe because it needs to be in a smaller room. So I did it in our master bathroom. Two cubes in there, the last two cubes, I couldn't smell it very much in there either. But I will say our master bathroom has vaulted ceilings in it, so we struggle with some scents in that master bath bathroom because of those vaulted ceilings. And there's vaulted ceilings here in the open concept. Maybe I should have tried it in the bedroom because there's no vaulted ceilings in the bedroom. There's no vaulted ceilings in the kitchen, but there's vaulted ceilings in the living room and in the master bath. So that's the two places I tried it was the one with the vaulted ceilings, but I have other scents that do okay in those vaulted ceiling areas, but some don't, some do. I, I probably should have tried it in just the bedroom and see how, see if that would have had better luck for me. But yeah, it, the two places I tried it, it was really light. If I would try it again, maybe I would just, because I do love the scent, like I said, maybe I should try it again and try it in the bedroom. Caramel Vanilla Delight is next. This is from Bring Back My Bar in June. Vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, splash of white rum. So this was so good. I the, When I first melted it in the, our apartments we used to live in, it did really, really well. I had like, I think two cubes left of this and I did it in our hallway bath here, which also doesn't have no vaulted ceilings in the hallway bath either. And it's a really small. It was really light though for some reason. This did really good. I think I had this in the bedrooms at the apartments and here it was in this mass or hallway bath. It was, like I said, no vaulted ceilings and it's really little. But I couldn't, for some reason I couldn't smell it very well here. Which is really weird because it was a small little bathroom with no vaulted ceilings. I didn't get much out of it here for some reason. I'm not sure what happened. But the first time I warmed it, I really loved it. And I think that's in my club. So I, mm, I don't know. I have to decide if I want to keep it in there or not based on my second warming. It wasn't as good as the first. Next up we have pumpkin chai. This is white pumpkin, cinnamon, and chai. This was nice, but there was something about it that I wasn't crazy about. Some There's some little note in here that kind of made me want to like <clears throat> clear my throat like that. It kept making me want to feel like I had to clear my throat. There's some note of some spice in here that just made me feel like it didn't. I felt like I had a little bit of a sore throat. <laughs> Have you ever had that happen when you smell a certain spicy thing or something? I had this going in the kitchen and that I just kept like it just makes me want to clear my throat. It just felt like I was getting a little bit of a sore throat from whatever spice there was in there. Whatever that spice was, I wasn't super crazy about. I don't know if it's some kind of chai spice, but I usually like chai scents. I don't know what it was in, in there. Something about it didn't, I didn't quite love about that one. So I don't think I would repurchase this one again. There's a, a lot of other uh, spicy pumpkin-y scents that I like better than that one. But you could smell it well. It did, it did really well throw-wise. It did good. And it lasted for two to three days. Next up is Gimme Candy, scent of the month for September. So good, so amazing. Caramelized sugar, golden honey, sweet buttercream. It's kind of a mixture of caramel corn, or uh, candy corn, caramel, and butterscotch. Really good, really strong, love it. And next up, Velvet Moon. This is new for a uh, fall and winter catalog. This is so good. Soft vanilla flower, white musk, and uh, foggy mist. It, oh, it's such a, it's, it's got that vanilla, but it's like a floral vanilla. Like, and then um, the musk. It's like a musky, florally vanilla. That is so good. Wintery, kind of cool. It's got like a coolness to it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's so good. I love this one. And this is so strong. I had it going in the hallway bath and it was good. And it was another linger. Linger. So good. Just kept going and almost a week, I think, or so. It was good. Next up we have a uh, Wally Classified. I loved this one. Loved it. Crisp apple, water, cucumber, -y. water. I think it's supposed to be watery cucumber. And dewy greens. Oh yeah. To me, this is, it's like, 
a grassy, green grassy scent, like almost like fresh cut grass, but like with a little bit of apple and a little bit of cucumber. Just a touch of apple and like cucumber. But mostly like a green type of scent. It reminds me like green grass. This is the closest I've had with Scentsy. Like I've probably already always said, I, me and Brad love fresh cut grass scents, and this is the closest we've gotten so far since we've been consultants to the fresh cut grass type of scent. Oh, it's so good. I, we've never had the original fresh cut grass, so this is gonna have to do until then. And I forgot to put in my club. I just realized today that I, I didn't put in my club and it's gone. It's gone already. Uh, this is my second Scentsy Heartbreak. I don't know why I didn't think to put in my club because sometimes I think in clubs, I'm trying to like, if there's another scent that's kind of similar, I don't want to keep in my club, but there's something else I can get that's kind of similar, but they don't have that many fresh cut grass scents. They have some that are kind of green, but not like fresh cut grass, I don't think. So I should have put that in my club. Uh, oh well. Next up, Desert Tropics. Uh, scent of the month for July. Uh, this is oh, it's kind of smeared on this one. Tropical berries. Oh, good. Tropical berries, dragon fruit, lush mango, and pineapple. Yeah, it's just fruity. Fruity, fruity. Fruity, juicy, fruity <laughs> is all it is. Yeah, you definitely get all the, uh, the mango, the berries, mangoes, pineapples. Very summery. This did good. Um, it's, it lasts like a day, about a day and then kind of dies off. So it, it did pretty good. It's like a medium throw on this one. Next up, Appy, Ch Apple, Appy, Apple Cherry Strudel. Brad's back there. Do you want to do the empties with me the last three bars? <laughs> do you want to do the last three bars with me? Uh, might as well just finish it. Oopsie, dropping stuff. Uh, apple Cherry Strudel is Granny Smith, Apple, Cherry, and Vanilla Drizzle. So this was good. It's good. Definitely get all that. It's it's such good like bakery. It doesn't say bakery in the notes, but the, I get a bakeriness with it. You get kind of a streusel. It just says green apples, cherry, and vanilla. So you definitely get the apple and that cherry and the vanilla. But I get like a bakery vibe with it. It could be the vanilla making it kind of bakery like. But I get a tad bit of like a streusel, t touch of a soup streusel like bakery, slightly crust type of thing. Yeah, it was really good. This one, I, I did this, gosh dang, when did I do this? Oh yeah, I remember now. I'm getting confused with something else. I did this, oh, I think in the open concept area. Yeah, it did good. It was like a medium in the open concept area. I think it lasted for like a day on that one. First day of fall is up next. Pumpkin Autumn Woods ground nutmeg and I cannot read that something cinnamon it looks like it says washed I don't know what it says something cinnamon some of these are smearing for some reason so this is really good I really like this one like a lot this reminds me It's kind of a cross of like kind of sweater weatherish from Bath and Body Works, and like um, autumn, kind of. It's kind of a mixture of like those two. Oh uh, yeah, really good. Uh, pumpkin. The autumn woods is really good in here. I think I get the autumn woods more than I get the pumpkin. But yeah, um, not mega cinnamon. Yeah, it's a little spicy in there. But yeah, you really get it's a spicy woodsy, pumpkiny type of scent. Really good. Good, but it was light. This was really light. I was so upset because it was so much lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I I melted warmed this on the first day of fall, and um, mm, it was just light. I was like, gosh dang it! I was so upset because I liked it I was so much on cold. I just it, it was a light thrower for me. Maybe it would do better in a bedroom. I don't know. Might try it again in a bedroom. We'll see. Then we have frosted vanilla. This is new in the fall and winter catalog as well. Sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. And that's amazing. God, this one's so good. I like this one and Velvet Moon both. This was definitely a frosty vanilla. There's no floral like the Velvet Moon has to the vanilla. This is just a frosty, sweet vanilla. But it's got that birch, that birch bark, frosty air. Yeah, very frosty, very cool, woodsy birch bark with vanilla. 
so good. Uh, yeah, so, so good. And this is really strong and does really well. Uh, last two to three days on that one. Then lastly, we have Harry Potter Wizarding World. This came out in the Harvest Collection, with the Harry, other Harry Potter items. This is Sparkling Citrus, Green Apple, Mahogany Woods, Vanilla, and Amber. So if you saw our haul when we first got this, I was a little, I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to because I got, I picked up a lot of that Mahogany Woods on cold and I thought it was gonna be a little more cologne than I, I was gonna like because I'm not super big into cologne scents. There are some here and there that I really like. If I like them, I really like them, seems like with the cologne scents. And then other ones I'm just kind of like, eh, they're just kind of okay. And eh, I don't really like them, they're just kind of eh. So I thought it was gonna be kind of like that but when I warmed it, I really liked this one a lot. It was so strong too, and so good. I didn't get as much of that mahogany woods when it warmed. It was in there, but I, the uh, apple, or not apple, the, uh, yeah, the apple, green apple. I meant to say vanilla. The vanilla and then the apple and the amber really came through when it was warming. You did get that mahogany woods as well, but it wasn't like too much. On cold, I felt like that was stood out more than the other notes did, but warming, those other notes really came through for me. Really good. Yeah, I just kept coming in the house and smelling it. It was so good and lasted, I think, almost three days with this one. It just, it was strong and it was, it was a good performance. It was a good long last or two on this one. So I definitely would get that again. Definitely would, and I definitely recommend it. All right, that's it for about two and a half weeks worth of empties, I think. Went through a lot, so I have more that I, fall things I need to get through. I got another party closeout coming. I have more stuff. I have a lot of fall stuff because I love fall scents and I'm new to Scentsy, so I have a lot of fall scents I wanted to try. So I had another party we closed out. I got more fall scents coming. And then after that, I will start trying to go into the winter scents, except I did start on some of the, the winter bricks that came out. I was warming those the past few days, so I had to stop my fall once for a while to get through those. Once those, I'm almost done testing those out and then I'll go back to the fall scents before I go back into winter. Once, while well, I do the particles, I also have the holiday tree, so I'll be doing some of those, so kind of going back and forth between winter and fall. But yeah, all right, so thanks for watching, and as always, our link to our website is down below in the description box. If you'd like to purchase any of these items, just click on our link to our website and they will all be list most of those will be on there except for like to bring back my bars those aren't on there but most of the fall items and things like that are on our website all right so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you all in our next video bye